Thickenrepair.com. We're all in this together. All right, and over here with Thicken Repair, talk about oil rails. Um, there is a dated video on YouTube right now. It's uh, I don't know five, six, seven years old from uh, from our former customer Diesel Tech Ron, um, who he was talking about the fact that uh, hey, don't mess with nipple cup O-rings unless you have a problem because you're going to have a problem later. I would tell you that that. Uh, you know, here, here it is in calendar year 2020, and I'm going to go on record as saying I disagree with that now. Too much time's gone by. And so what we're talking about is we're talking about nitrile-based O-rings inside here. Come on, guys. These trucks are like, you know, if you have a 2007, it's 13 years old. Like, what do you want out of it? And so, ah, right? And so really, you really should minimally verify the integrity of what you've got. Minimally. If not, just out and out replace them. And if you're going to out and out replace them, there's another conversation to have as well. So first and foremost, you notice that if you zoom in on, 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 on these nipple cups, these are the OEM nipple cups, what you'll, what you'll see is that you've got uh, a chamfered edge here. And so that chamfered edge um, goes in and it works on the top of the injector. Here we go. So it goes into the top of the injector and it goes like this, Thunk, right? And so, so this goes in, it opens up that O-ring that you can barely see inside there, and life is life is good. So that's, that's how that goes. But the last thing you want to do is cause that O-ring to get damaged. And so what you minimally want to do is you want to make sure that these puppies are 90 degrees to the oil rail. So this, oil, this oil rail just came out of the truck that's in the background here, customer's truck. And um, what you'll see is just in the process of taking the oil rail out, you see these nipple cups, this dude's not at 90 degrees. He's at like, you know, something other than 90, right? Um, and so this dude's not at 90. None of these are really at 90. So minimally what you want to do is you want to figure out how to get these things back to 90. But more about that in a second. What you want to do, just to verify their integrity, is you want to go ahead and you want to push on these things. And it should move, but it should move with difficulty. This does not move with difficulty. This moves relatively easily. So I would tell you that this nipple, that this O-ring here, eh, it's hard. Right? It's not as nice as it used to be. Let's, let's try this one. Similar story. It just moves too readily. This one. It moves too readily. This one. Okay, they're universal. <laughs> they move too readily. Okay. Now, so at the very minimum, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to replace those O-rings inside there. So there's a company that, that we rep for, um, HHC uh, Diesel, but we rep for everybody. In case it's not intrinsically clear, so we haven't told that to you. Anything you can get for your power stroke, you can get from us. And we're like, worst case scenario, same money, but oftentimes we're less. Um, and there's things wrong with us, so maybe we'll talk to us just because we're fun. I don't know. But at any rate, so HHC Diesel, they make a, um, a pretty nifty, a pretty little nifty thing here. We'll, we'll get out of the package while we're talking. And these are going in this thing. First of all, here are your O-rings, so great, four per side, and here is their aftermarket nipple cup option. And what you'll see is that this nipple cup, while similar to his brother, is decidedly different. And the reason why it's decidedly different is it has this little edge on it. So what happens is, <clears throat> you notice that there is no edge in the factory one at all. So what happens is, <clears throat> should that O-ring that's inside there fail? You're going to have oil that's going to spray on the outside edge of this nipple um, and it's going to go down there and it's going to spray on the outside edge and it's going to work to degrade that o-ring on the top there and if it does inside that injector is a spool valve that goes side to side open close open close open close and so what can happen is it can force your um it can force your motor it can force force that the spool valve to stay open and it can cause uh, if a little shrapnel of o-ring gets up in there or whatever it can cause all kinds of problems and it can actually hydrolock your motor and this is bad news bears like bye bye connecting rod bye bye whatever so just kind of keep that in the back of your mind so that's the reason why this is so important so if you want to just and only as an option what you could do is you could replace the o-rings and you could choose to take it a step further and migrate to these nipple cups now in addition to that you see that there is some some wear here right there where just a little bit of nothing little lines that you see and the rule of thumb is take your fingernail notice I'm, I'm not wearing gloves your guys your hands will wash it's fine um take your fingernail and just feel for any kind of any kind of uh nicking or whatever if you feel any kind of any kind of marring nicking whatever and your intention is to reuse this nipple cup that's fine but 
take some take some uh, 2,000 grit or something sandpaper and run it run it along this to go ahead and get rid of that of that edge, or use a uh, like a jeweler's rouge polish with like a Dremel or something like that. That'll work out great. Okay, back to our scheduled program. Cool. So what what we've got what HHC built for us is they built this nifty socket. So what we have is we have a, we have a problem. The problem is that this um, this piece here, you want to check to see, hey, do I replace these or do I not? Say you want to check them and you decide, hey, if it's hard to move them, I'm not going to replace them. Okay, fine, but you've got a problem. The problem is that you've moved them. Now that's not 90 degrees anymore. It's like 90-ish degrees, right? And so you're like, well, okay, is that 90? You know, is that 90? What's 90? We don't know. The inside of this socket is mated, it's rounded to meet this. And so just by putting this socket on here and putting it down, just by getting it all the way down, it forces the nipple cup to 90.0 degrees in the oil rail. And so now when you go ahead and you reinstall it in your truck, what'll happen is um, it will, it'll go ahead and it'll just go in in one motion clunk and it'll, it'll seal inside the tops of the injectors instead of having this chamfered edge cut the top of the o-ring and so that's huge for you but what we're going to do right now is we're going to take this off and we're going to put this on step one there it is have our little breaker bar here we just got this thing in a vise no big deal put this on like this and here we go there we go <laughs> man if you want to use an impact hac will tell you no worries okay so <clears throat> here we are so now now it's now it's off take this unscrew this there it is. There's guys on YouTube that are just making it like, tunk! I'm like, I don't know if I can do it to the gym more. Could be. I don't know. It was on there pretty good. So, anyway, set this right here. Very good. Take this dude off right here. Now, uh, I'm going to have my cameraman shine down in there. And what you'll see <clears throat> is you'll see that there's an o ring inside there. And so, what we want to do is we want to fish that bad boy up out of there. So, you take our little pick and we go in there. There it is. Oh yeah, he's stiff. He's stiff, stiff. And there he is. And you can see he's not even maintaining a circular shape. You see that the one the one edge is oblong from where I from where I pushed. So obviously, if you look at this very very carefully, you can see that he's just he's just tired, right? So he's hard. He's tired. That's not what you want to do. Uh, you don't want to reuse him. So what what you're going to want to do? You're going to take your fresh O-rings. And if we weren't um, if we were thinking, we would have had this done already. So we're going to we're going to put these and we're going to put these in oil in an oil bath we're going to let them um and by the way new ones look they come right back they come right back so these are nice and soft and pliable but you don't want to just install these dry so you take your little handy dandy oil and you leave them sit here five minutes five minutes in a fresh oil bath let them get all nice and nice and lubricated whatever and some guys are like, ah, you know, 10 seconds is good. You know what it probably is. Do you want to take a chance? Is it worth it to you? Ah, if this, if this leaks later, you're going to have hot start problems. It's, spend the five minutes. Just put it in there. Don't worry about it. Okay? Now, what you want to do, what Diesel Tech Ron was talking about as far as, hey, you'll have nothing but problems later. The reason for his commentary was right here. <clears throat> what you want to do, you're going to take your fingernail, take your gloves off, your hands will wash. Take your hands and you want to take your fingernail and you want to go down here in in and you just want to run your fingernail your fingernail along the edge on both sides of the ceiling surface of this o-ring if you feel any nicks any burrs any anything you gotta take care of those okay if you don't uh if you don't take care of those it's going to leak it's going to cause you problems and so we don't want that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to let some time go by uh we're going to go ahead and uh we're going to take off these other ones. We're letting time go by in order for the um, in order for those O-rings to, to to seal up here. We'll just do the next one. Maybe this time it won't be so weenie. We'll see. There we go. There's that one loose. And yes, you can use an impact, but you know, I don't know. I'm old school. Or maybe I'm just old. These are the options. So that's fine. Beats the alternative. Here we go. And there we go. Okay, so now they're all, all, all of them broken loose. By the way, um, when you retighten these, 100 foot pounds is what you want, okay? So you put them on 100 foot pounds, got my torque wrench already set up at 100 in advance of this. Here we go. And now we're gonna take these off. Um, take off our, 
stick off the socket. There's one. There's two. There's three. Done. Which one goes in which one doesn't actually matter. But I just like to keep them separated because I'm a purist. There you go. Cloniness is close to godliness. So there you go. Perfect. We're going to grab our pick again. We're going to go in here, find the edge of this, of this guy, pull him out of there. This guy's stiff too. Shocker. Not as bad as the other guy. Isn't that interesting? But whatever. And he goes to that one. Not that it matters because we're replacing him, but still. He goes to that one. He goes to that one. Very, very good. Now, take my fingernail. Again, same conversation. If I didn't find any burrs on this one, I'm just going to go all the way around. Make sure you get all the way 360 degrees on the top edge. 360 degrees are on the bottom edge. Verify that there's no issues. Just feel all up inside there. Again, your hands will wash. Do this one too. All around. All around. All around. We're good there. All around. All around. All around. We're good there. Okay, we are good. So we're gonna take a break for just a second. We're gonna let some more time go by. Let these little rings seal and we'll be, we'll be good to go in just a minute. All right, so it's been five minutes and uh, magic of video editing. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these O-rings off. We're just gonna, they've been sitting here in oil this whole time. We're just gonna set them in the hole. We're gonna set them in the hole. We're gonna set them in the hole. We're gonna set them in the hole. Shout out to Schaefer's, by the way, for looking for what oil to get. We like Schaefer's, like a lot. So um, there you go. And the uh, go ahead and here, make sure that that is in there. And so again, we're not using any tools, just our fingers, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lubricate that. We're gonna push this O-ring down in the, in the bore. We're gonna lubricate that. Very good. Same thing here. Lubricate that. Same thing here. Lubricate that. So all these are in and lubricated. So we should be good, right? Right. Now, these rings, obviously they have an upside and a downside. You want to take the same fingernail trick and you want to run it along here and just verify, run it along there, verify that there's nothing, there's no Mars, there's no nothing. I've yet to see any damage on these, but I have seen damage on these. So just, just go ahead and, and just try it with your fingernail. And by the way, don't rely on your on your on your skin, your skin can't feel it. Your fingernail will. Your fingernail can feel two thousands. Any machine, any machinist will tell you. So just go ahead and trust that, and say, are there any, are there any uh, Mars or whatever? If there are, you gotta, you gotta take care of them. So this is good. And so here's, here's the replacement. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead. My hands are already oily. If they weren't, ah! <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. So here we are. <laughs> we might edit that out. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna verify that no, that no damage happened on this. If there's any damage, I'm super sorry. Buy another one. I know they're expensive, but you don't want any kind of problems at all. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look at this very carefully, verify that um, that there is no damage caused. In fact, we might just leave that in the in this deal just to say that hey, stuff happens. And notice that there are no, this is obviously a brand new machine part, still got a chamfered edge in there. There is no wear for where the O-ring goes. We're 100% square. And this just goes right in the hole, right there. You can go ahead and put it on there and verify that, hey, look, it goes on nice. Thread that by hand, just start it. There you go. Next, lubricate that puppy up. There it is, put it on there. Get it on there. You see how every single time I'm going like this, I'm just making sure that it's seated. That's what I'm doing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this, take my fingernail again, verify that that's smooth and nice. Verify that that's smooth and nice. There we go. Excellent. Oh. Lubricate that. Put it on there. Nice. There we go, there we go. Just wanna verify there's no problems. Again, start it by hand, never hurts. Last one, 
smooth and nice, smooth and nice. There it goes. There it goes. We do rent the socket. Uh, we also sell it. If you're, if you, if you think there's even any chance at all of you getting back in here again, of you having to do this again, you want to own the socket. Anytime you do injectors, dummy plugs, stamp pipes, anytime that this oil roll has to come off in the future, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and the last step before putting this thing back together is to verify that, that, that your nipple cups are square and that you don't have any, any issues. Again, I'm just finger tightening this. Finger tightening this. Finger tightening this. Finger tightening this. Now, we've got our torque wrench, it's set at 100 foot-pounds, it's on, it's on uh, tidy, ready to tidy like a Lucy, all the stuff, all the stuff. Yep, there we go. I always just check twice, so click, click, done. And now you can go on to the next one. Make sure it's seated before you start, there we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. And more than twice is okay. It's like, oh, he did it three times. We'll see someone in the comments box. Jesus. Whatever. Guys, nice. got a little bit. Okay, here we go. And hold it here. There we go. By the way, I want you to notice something. So the amount of pressure that I'm pulling on this, I mean, you know, we're not going to edit out me, me uh, having problems originally, but look, my arm is straight, I'm pushing them against my vice, my arms are totally straight, I'm going to let my shoulders do the work. I'm just going to pull, and I want you to notice that I'm not, it's actually not hard, right? It's very, very easy. If you try to do it and, you're, and your arm is bent, right? I, don't, I can't actually. Yep, nope, sure can't. So just know how your body works. Shoulders. That's it. Okay guys, so this oil rail is done. And so now what we want to do is we'll go on to the, do the next one. When we're ready, the last thing we do before we go ahead and put this back together again, after the injectors are in, everything's ready, this is ready to go on. It's the very next step. We've cleaned out the crap that's inside here because that's kind of nasty, right? Um, we're ready to put it all back together. The very last thing we do before we put this on the truck Take our socket, put it on there, put it on there, put it on there, put it on there. And oh, look, like, see what I just did? That is not seated, is it? Got to turn it until it is. I know it sounds basic. You'd be amazed, right? It's got to go all the way down, and that way it's at 90.0 degrees to the oil. Now they're all perfectly up. Now, by the way, let's see. Hold it. <coughs> it's moving, but it's moving with effort. Hopefully that's coming through on the camera. <laughs> you can see that yes, it moves, but it moves much more difficultly. Uh, difficultly? Is that a word? Uh, with with much more effort than it did before. <coughs> there. And so that is the point. That these O-rings are fresh. They're good. And <coughs> and now obviously they're all not at 90 anymore. So now I got to go ahead and I got to move this. There. Oh, look, you perfect rest in five minutes, right? And uh, there we go. There we go. So there. So there. So there. So there. Perfect. I truly hope this helps somebody. Uh, when you put this oil reel back on, this is the last thing you do before you put it back on. When you put it back on, you put it on in one motion. You don't rock it on. What you want to do is just push, Tunk. and you're done. And we'll probably show that in a subsequent video. All right. Thanks for watching. Pickermanfair.com. We're all in this together. Any parts you need for your power stroke, soup to nuts, we got you. All right. Thanks very much. See ya.